Getting started in Grant Holster. In this video, I'll show you how to get started in Grant Holster at the silver or gold level. We'll do a short discussion of the menu items, a review of each tab in Grant Holster, and the best way to enter and manage your projects in Grant Holster. Now from the Grant Holster homepage, click sign in and enter your email and password. This brings you to your dashboard. You'll see that on the left, you have a series of tabs. For the next few minutes, I will review what you can find in each tab. Dashboard. Your dashboard is your home screen for Grant Holster. There are three key pieces of information you can see here. The first is deadlines, the next is year to date, and the third is the queue. The deadlines box shows you how many projects you have due today, how many deadlines you have today, how many deadlines in seven days, and how many in 30 days. Now, let's talk for just a minute about projects and deadlines. A project is a big project, uh, probably a grant proposal, but it could also be your annual report for grant seeking or any other big projects that you work on. Actions are tasks. They're LOIs, maybe phone calls, meetings, reminders, everything you need to do as part of that larger projects. So when you're in Grant Holster and you see deadlines, those are deadlines for both projects and actions. Essentially, looking at your dashboard shows you what you need to be working on. Now the box up in this corner shows you your year to date results. How many clients, how many projects, how many awards, and how many projects are pending. Pending means you have submitted them and you're waiting to hear back from the funder or whoever else is making the decision. The queue box in the bottom shows the next 10 deadlines. And remember, a deadline could be a project or an action that are coming up. Now you can view it by either your own deadlines or you can view your entire team deadline. You can also sort each column in the queue so you can see the information however you want. The next item is the deadlines tab. This is just like the queue that shows up in your dashboard, except in the queue, it shows you the next 10 items. On the deadlines tab, it shows you everything, but you can filter and sort to your heart's content. The next tab is projects. Remember, projects are those large, large projects you need to get done. <laughs> In this view, you will see every single project you have ever worked on. Now, after a few years, you're not going to want to have to scroll through all of those. So we've made it easy. You can search, filter, and sort these projects in any way that makes sense to you. You can also export this information into a spreadsheet if you need it. This is also the tab where you will enter new projects, but we'll talk about that later. The next tab is clients. Clients are the organizations you are doing work for. If you work at a single nonprofit organization, you'll probably only have one client, but if you're a consultant, you'll have many clients. Again, you can search, sort, and export these. Funders. Obviously, funders are those individuals or organizations you're seeking grants from. Like the other tabs, you can search, sort, and export these. Contacts. These are the individuals you work with, including yourself. When you create projects, clients, and funder records, you'll be able to assign contacts to each one of those individually. The Vault. The Vault is a fantastic resource for grant professionals. For each of your clients, you will be able to enter all kinds of information you will need for applications and reports all in one place. We're going to go through this in a little while. Reports. Grant Holster provides six turnkey reports for you. We will go through these later. Account. 
This shows you your information about your account. Now, in the top right corner, you'll see your name. Click on this to change your profile information, seek help, or log out of Grant Holster. Step one, enter your clients and your contacts. Just go into those tabs and enter the appropriate information. Step two, the vault. Now, I know you're eager to start entering projects and funder information, but if you just take a little time now to complete your vault information, it will save you hours of time later. Remember that vault is the information you use for grants all the time. Grant Holster gives you a place to keep all of that information so you can access it when you need it. It's a fantastic time saver. So for each client, you'll see there's a list of vault information. I'm not gonna go through each one of them now. They're pretty self-explanatory, but if you are limited on time, I suggest you enter at least the program information for the different programs you seek grants for. This will make it a lot easier to add projects later. Step three, funders. Now you can add your funders. You can choose to add all of your current and prospective funders at once or just add them as needed. Now, I recommend that you enter as many funders as possible at first, but you can actually do it anytime. Just like on the contacts page, when you enter a new funder, Grant Holster will give you a quick add option. But when you open that funder's full record, it shows you all kinds of information that you can enter and adjust. You're especially gonna love the automatic projects feature, which lists every project associated with that funder. In fact, once you've got your projects entered, you can just click to go directly to that project. Because you've already entered contact information, you just select that individual and assign them to that funder. You can also attach documents to this record I always like to include a copy of the funder's 990 or any other information that I have. Step four, projects. Are you ready to enter your projects? Of course you are. Okay, click on new project, which will pull up a quick add box. Now, there are some required fields in this box. Before you can save the project, you must enter the project description, which is the name, client, project type, and deadline. You'll also want to indicate if this is a hard deadline or a soft deadline. If you've chosen a hard deadline, then this symbol will appear next to the due date in every screen. That will remind you that you've got no wiggle room. When you open the full project record, there is all kinds of information you can add. General information, submission information, award information, contacts, actions, notes, and attachments. There's one more box at the very bottom of the page. You don't need to enter anything in here. Grant Holster does it for you. Any project that shares both the funder and the client will appear in this box. This allows you to see the relationship with that funder over time. One of the best features about Grant Holster is the Renew Project button. If you have a project that you typically do every year, instead of re-entering the entire project or instead of going back and changing all of the due dates, just click the Renew Project button. You can only do it once so that you don't accidentally do it multiple times. It will copy all of the information from this year's grant application, but it will bump all of the dates forward one year in advance. Pretty cool, huh? Let's talk about the actions that are in each project. Remember, these are all the sub-steps or the tasks or the actions that you need to take in order to achieve your bigger project. Let's go ahead and get started on actions and I can show you the different types. When you hit add action, it will pull up this screen. 
You'll enter the title of the action, who it's assigned to, what kind of action it is. Maybe it's an LOI, it's a meeting, a phone call, a report, or just a general task that doesn't really fit anything else. You can enter the status, and those statuses are accepted, completed, declined, deferred, go, no go, pending, scheduled, and working. You get to decide yourself what all of those mean. And the deadline, of course, that makes sense. You can enter a hard deadline. You can make it an urgent deadline or you can make a note that it's a funding requirement. So this would be like an LOI or a follow-up report after the award is given. All of those are funding requirements and you want to indicate those. You can also add any notes that you want to add. All right, I've shown you all of the general screens for Grant Holster. Are you ready to get to work? Yeah, let's get to work. For this demonstration, I have entered five clients 10 different funders, and 20 different contacts. Now, you can watch as I create this new project for a client. In this example, I have included just some general actions that we might typically see in the life cycle of managing a grant. Now you're ready to use Grant Holster every day, just like I do. What I do every morning is come into Grant Holster and open up my dashboard. I look to make sure I don't have any projects due today because if there is a project due today, I need to get to work on it. Then I look at any deadlines that I have today. From there, I look at the next seven days and the next 30 days. I can also look at the queue below, which I will often switch to my team view just to see if there are any members of my team who seem to have a lot of deadlines and might need some help. Now, of course, as you're working on a project, you're going to need to update things just to show the progress that you're making. I can go into the queue and open up the project just by clicking the project name on the dashboard or from the deadlines page. This will open up the project and I can add notes, I can mark projects as completed, I can note whether or not the project has been awarded. I can do all kinds of different things. Grant Holster has six different turnkey reports that will help you in communicating with your stakeholders. The first one is current awards. The current awards report pulls a detailed summary of all the projects with the status of awarded during a specific time period. The report includes total projects, aggregate award sum, and total hours spent on those awarded projects. The date range field pulls the projects from the award start and end date. In other words, if you need to manage an existing grant that's already been awarded or you need to see a list, this is where you'll go. You can create a list of current awards just for a single client or you can select all clients. The upcoming project report is a snapshot of those upcoming projects, <laughs> as well as all the actions associated with that project. The date range field pulls from the project deadline field. This is a great way to show your team and your stakeholders your workload that's coming up in a certain period of time.
The Client Summary Report is a snapshot of all activity for a certain range of dates that you get to pick. This report pulls client projects, no matter what their statuses are, and it's based on the deadline date of that project, not the award date like the award report, but the deadline dates. So it shows the total number of projects and their statuses in the date range cho chosen. The client summary report is a snapshot of all activity for a certain range of dates and client. This report pulls all of the project of all different statuses based on the deadline date of those projects. It shows the total number of projects and each status in that date range. And the first page of the report is an overview about the total number of projects and all the different statuses. The funders report displays information about the funder as well as all of the associated projects with a due date within the date range chosen. The date range fields pull the projects from the deadline field associated to each one of those projects. The opportunity review reports is a fantastic tool for those grant kickoff meetings. It pulls all information pertaining to a single project. It includes all the general project information, funder information, and the list of action items. The Deadlines Report. The Deadlines Report is just a list of all of the deadlines, regardless of their status, for a given time period. If you ever forget exactly what a report provides you, you can always hover over this question mark and it'll provide you with a reminder. These reports can be sorted in lots of different ways. If you have a report you need to run that isn't necessarily included in one of the turnkey reports, you can always export the information from the other screens and pull it into a spreadsheet. So now you're ready to use Grant Holster. If you ever have any questions or you run into any problems, please reach out. We do like to keep track of the problems or questions that people are having. Uh, it just helps us make the product even better and better, as well as our service. I invite you to join our Facebook group for Grant Holster users. It is a very friendly and supportive bunch, and uh, we're able to share some resources, information, tips, tricks, gripes, uh, and just kind of share this journey that we're all on. I look forward to getting to know you, and thank you so much for using Grant Holster. Remember, it's the first online application designed for grant professionals by grant professionals.